Hey guys, MGX for fun here, and we finally got it. Today we're gonna open our box of Masters 25. I'm super excited, and I'm sure you guys are too. Been a lot of box openings. It's been really like hit or miss with a lot of people. Um, I'm hoping that we get one of the hit boxes. That would be nice. My uh, Iconic Masters box was really good. We got the Chase Mythic as a foil. Now I wonder if we can get the Chase Mythic in this set as a foil. That would be ideal. Chances of that are incredibly slim, but you never know. Alright, so we're gonna slide the box off to the side here. Make sure everything is nice and in focus. And here we go. So, honestly, I I want an Azusa. So we're going to go through this kind of slow. Put cards aside that are useful to me. Oh, there's our first Relentless Rats. Kindle's a nice popper card. And we'll play Jackpot. Okay. So our first in common is Core Fireworker. Worker? Firewalker. That's nice. Murder of Crows. I don't know why that represents Innistrad. Oral Charm. And Darien, King of Keldor. Uh, he's a 3-3 three, three for 6. Whenever you're dealt damage, you create that many 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. Then we have a foil lore scale Kotal. Okay. So I have... Um, uh, I have sleeves ready. There's my little pack of sleeves. And I have hard plastic sleeves over there. Or top loaders, however you want to call them. Or whatever you want to call them, I mean. Put those right there. And then pack number two. Out of so there we go. I have my trash can here so I don't make a mess with packs, even though I threw that one back there first. Okay. Dark survivalist, the hill spell bomb. It's always a nice card. Oh, counter spell. Metal sentinel. Good pack so far. Maybe Blue Elemental Blast, that's always a great card. Cloud Blazer, ugh, Quicksand. Oh, well that's too bad. Our first Mythic is Prosh, the Sky Raider of Care. He's a 5-5 five, five for 6. Whenever you cast him, you create zero or carry X-01 red Kabold creatures named Kabold of Care Keep, where X is the amount of mana spent to cast him. And you can sacrifice another creature, he gets plus 1, plus 0. Okay, that's not... That doesn't bode well, and we have a Dragon's Eye Servant. Er, Savant, sorry. Pack number three. That's a great card to start off with right in the front of the pack. So we have Unearth. Uh, Ghost Ship, I don't know why that card's in there either. Okay. So. We have Goblin War Drums, Nyx Fleece Ram, those are nice, Will Bender, and Ball Lightning. It's a 6-1 for 3 with Trample and Haste, and you sacrifice at the beginning of your end step. It will be a Foil Oromancer, beautiful card, beautiful art. Animorph, I'm going to need those, so I'm going to put those aside. Alright, next pack. Bulk Edict. Counter Spell. Metal Sentinel. Relentless Rats. Okay. So we have Ancient Craving, Ravenous Chupacabra, Utopia Sprawl, and Pendlehaven. Alright. Add a Green Deer Mana Pool or a target 1 1 creature gets plus 1 plus 2 until end of turn. And we have a Foil Exclude. I think that's probably worth something because of Popper. Could be wrong, but I'm not saying it's worth a ton, but it's probably worth a couple bucks. I'd say I'm getting uh, pretty decent just commons and uncommons. Except for Ghost Ship, Wall, Murder. 
So we have the new art on the shade. Willow, uh, Willow the Wisp, Invigorate, and Hell's Caretaker. This is a 1-1 one, one for 4, sacrifice creature, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, activate this only during your upkeep. And then we have a foil, Pavu Climber. So the foiling in this set is... Oops, put the token in the wrong place. The foiling in this set is a pretty big improvement, I think. I haven't seen a lot of um, people complaining about the whole curling and all that stuff. That hasn't been a huge thing, or at least not what I've seen anyway. Arbor Elf. The Hill Spell Bomb. Okay, we have Mistress Factory. Ah, Myriad Landscape. Need more of those. Caustic Tar and Conflux. Ew. It is a. What? 8 drop sorcery? Search your library for a white card, a blue card, a black card, and a red card, and a green card. Reveal those cards, put them in your hand, and shuffle your library. And we have a foil Court Hussar. Not. Not the greatest box in the world so far. But we haven't opened too many packs. I think that was only like five. Five or six. Uh, focus. Oh, Arcane Denial and Counterspell in the same pack. Oh, I put Conflux over there when it goes over here. Hold on, let me, let me back it up and make sure I didn't do that with any others. Nope. Okay. Uh, Metal Sentinel. Relentless Rats. Oh, nice hit there. Simeon Spirit Guide. Bean Hunter's always nice. Brine Elemental. There we go, Rugged Prairie. I need these. So it's the Red White Filter Land. You can tap down a colorless, or you can pay a red or white and add double red, double white, or red and white to your mana pool. Okay. And we have a Foil Deadly Designs. Huh. That's kind of cool. Bean Spirit. So I'm not going in any particular order. I know some people like to go column after column. I'm just grabbing a pack and going. Because honestly, the whole pat macking thing is beyond me. I really don't care that much. That's not even common. Nope. Okay, the uncommons can be kind of hard to see sometimes. Okay, so we have Stampede Driver, Spike Chuck Goblin. I need that. Anyway, Ash Barons. And Eidolon of the Great Rebel. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever a player casts a spell with a greater mana cost 3 or less, it deals 2 damage to that player. Oh. We have a Foil Notion Thief. That's our Foil Rare. That's kind of... That's kind of unfortunate. Um, it's a 4 drop for... 3-1 uh, for 4, sorry. With Flash, if an opponent would draw a card, except for the first one here she draws, each of her draw steps instead, that player skips that... If an opponent would draw a card, except for the first one he or she draws, in each of his or her draw steps, instead of that player, instead that player skips that draw and you draw a card. Okay. I'll put that with the rares, I guess. So nothing major. I'm waiting for some nice hits here. I'm hoping that the company that I ordered this from didn't map the box. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have the Shade with the new art, we have a Regrowth, we have a Browbeat, and our second Mythic is Gisela, Blade of Gold Knight. It is a 5-5 five, five for 7. Um, flying First Strike, if a sorcerer deal damage to an opponent or a permanent, that opponent controls, it deals double that damage to that player or permanent instead. And if a sorcerer deal damage to you or a permanent you control, prevent half that damage rounded up. And we, oh, we have a Foil Nettle Sentinel. That's pretty sweet. That's going to go in a sleeve. That is the first card to go in a sleeve. I think besides the Prairie, that's one of the most expensive cards I've gotten, too. It's pretty slick. Alright. Next pack. So we have the possibility for another Mythic. And I've been seeing a lot of boxes get double foil rares. So maybe we'll get something good. Okay, we've got a Brainstorm, Murder, I haven't been putting Murders up and I don't know. Okay, so we have a Blightning, a Zoetic Cavern, another Ash Barons, and Nymazette the Firemind. It's a 4-4 four, four for 6. 
flying, whenever you draw a card, it deals one damage to a creature player, and then you tap it to draw a card. And we have a foil renewed faith. The art on that is phenomenal. We have the Kraken. That poor ship. Not doing the greatest so far. Um, doesn't matter to me, I was going to open this regardless. Uh, regardless of all the negative hype and the uh, Iconic Masters 2.0. However, I had great luck with Iconic Masters. Okay, so we have Valor of Akros, Twisted Image, I believe is still worth something, Gendry of the Falls, and Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Or Vesuvian Shapeshifter, sorry. It's a 0, zero for 5. When it enters the battlefield or is turned faced up, you may choose another creature on the battlefield. If you do, it's turned, uh, until it's turned face down, it becomes a copy of that creature and gains at the beginning of your upkeep, you may turn this creature face down. And we have a foil retraction heels. Okay, and a goblin. I really just want a Zuzo. Like, if I can get my hands on the Zuzo, I'll be happy. I'll be totally fine. Okay, so we've got a counter spell and a hill spell bomb. And then there's rats. I think the commons and uncommons are going to save this. Uh, Watch Wolf. Shadow Mage Infiltrator used to be a rare. And we have Ruic Thar the Unbowed. It's a 6 6 for 6 with Vigilance and Reach. He attacks each combat of Able. And whenever a, creature casts an, uh, whenever a player casts a non creature spell, it deals 6 damage to that player. And we have a foil Woolly Loxodon. That's a very common foil and a morph. Every, almost every single box I've watched, they've gotten a Woolly Loxodon. Or a Woolly Loxodon, sorry. Focus. Oh, that was a that was a stinker for commons and uncommons, or commons, I mean. Lightning Bolt, Promise of Boon Ray, and Nico Bolas. He's a 7-7 seven, seven for uh, 8. Flying and Vinny Rep keep sacrifice it unless you pay a blue, a red, and a black. When he deals damage to an opponent, that player discards his or her hand. And a foil hoarding outburst. It's not a bad card. Elf Lord. So we've got... So we have 11 packs, including this one left. So halfway through the box, and we've only hit one... really decent card, so I'm hoping the second half of the box has some stuff in it. Otherwise, this is a total flop. So we have Undead, Undead Gladiator, Invigorate, Genju the Spires, and Biden of Thassa. Whenever a creature you control deals common damage to your player, you may draw a card, and you can pay two creatures your opponent's control attack this turn if able. We have a Foil Crimson Mage and an Angel. Ten packs left. Mirror is an uncommon, huh? Barrowless Mirror, Zulaport Cutthroat, Utopia Sprawl, and another Nivmazet. That's really bad. That's unfortunate. We have a Foil Humble Defector and the Stang Twin. That is probably the worst rare that you can have duplicates of. So either I just got really, really terrible luck, or the person that bought this what they were doing. Oh, Man of War, I need one of those. I'll put that aside. Oh, there we go. Curse Catcher. That's a good $5 bill. Freed from the Reels. Great card. Let's go Kotal. And a Chroma's Vengeance. Six drop sorcery. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. And we got a Foil Dark Ritual. That's pretty sweet. It's only like 5 bucks or so. So no Azusa either. Huh. That's like <laughs> that's the one card that I want from this set, and of course it's not gonna give it to me. Probably just have to buy one. Alright, so we have Goblin Wardrums, Iron Shaman, 
Uber's Protector, and Collision Relic. There we go, that's a decent hit. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool, put a charge counter on Collision Relic at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all charge counters from it, and add one mana of any color to your mana pool for each charge counter removed. And we have a foil Kinder, or Kindle, I mean. And then, wolf. All right, so we're down to our last seven packs. This box was a flop. This box was a flop. Which one? So we have Core Firewalker, Ordeal of Heliod, Brian Elemental, and oh, Flooded Grove. There we go. It's the same thing as the red, red, white one, except it's blue green. And we have a Foil Nihil Spell Bomb. That is a beauty. I think I'm gonna put that one in the sleeve too. I'm not putting the like the lands and stuff in sleeves because I, if the foils do curve, I haven't seen it. But if they do, I don't want the, the nice ones to get ruined. So we're just about winding down here. Our last six packs, I think, six or seven packs. Yeah, our last six packs. So we have Zoetic Cavern, Zombify, Need one of those, Kabu Predator, and Renzo Dungeon of the Dollar. Uh, he's a 2-2 two -two for 2 and X. He enters the battlefield with plus one, plus one counters on him, equal to the how much you paid. Pay two, put the bottom card of your library in your graveyard. If it's a creature card with power less than or equal to Renzo's power, put it into the battlefield. And, oh, nice foil shorts to plowshares. That's pretty sweet. And then Insect. Straighten up the piles here a little bit. Alright. Let's attack. So I think the only thing that can save this box is a Jace. Or an Imperial Recruiter. Imperial Recruiter. That would be nice too. I've come to terms with the, the loss here, but uh like I said, I was gonna buy it anyway. Oh, whoa. Okay, curiosity. What's the pleasure? Ha <laughs> ha! Jace the Mind Sculptor and a foil of Relentless Rats. Alright, so that's going in a sleeve. Absolutely going in a sleeve and a hard plastic case. Good old Mr. Jace. Well, that just <laughs> probably took the value of those, this box and doubled it. There we go. Actually, he gets his own special spot up there. You can't really see him because of the glare from the light. Yeah, you can stay over there, Jace. Gonna follow rel relentless rats. Oh, that's so creepy how they just made the eyes and the teeth. Alright. So this box went from really terrible to decent. With that Jace. Okay, we have a cultivate. We have a pillory of the sleepless, heavy arbalist, fallen angel, and Pernicious Deed, alright. Uh, pay X, sacrifice Pernicious Deed, destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with converted mana cost X or less, and it's a 3 drop enchantment. And we have a foil murder, nice. And a goblin. So we're coming to the last three packs of the box. No Azusa, which makes me really sad. So we have uh, Brood Hatch Nantuko, Enthralling Victor, Gendru the Spires, and there he is, or she is, Azuzo Lost But Seeking. It's a 1 2 for 3. You may play two additional lands on each of your turns. And we, oh! We have a Foil Utopia Sprawl. That is a nice card, and that has a pretty good price tag on it. So this box is kicking butt right at the end, and I can appreciate that in the spirit. Right, two packs left. Arcane Denial. Goes in the pile. Okay. We have our Simeon Spirit Guide, Fiend Hunter, Promise of Moon Ray, and Reform. <laughs> When Reform dies, create a 3 3 blue fish creature token with when this creature dies. Create a 6 6 blue whale creature token with when this creature dies. Create a 9 9 blue kraken token. 
not the pieces of foil, which I think is pretty nice because Portal didn't have foils. And then more. All right, last pack. What are we gonna close this box out with? Something, something spicy or something like Grenzo again? Because we got two Niv Mizzets, which was horrible. Okay. There's a Cultivate, a Dark Ritual. All right. So we have a Zombify, a Regrowth, an Awamory of the Open Fist, and Plague Wind. All right. Well. It's a nine drop, destroy all creatures you can you don't control, they can't be regenerated. And our foil is Savannah Lions. Ew. Well, not too bad there at the end. That Jace really, really helps with the mediocrity that this box has beyond the Jace. Um, do I recommend buying this as a box? I would do it just for the experience. I wouldn't do it if you're trying to make money because you can clearly see, and if you watch the professor's video on it, he'll explain to you that there's not that many cards in here that are worth more than the price of the pack. I mean, we've got a few. Azusa's more than the pack. Um, Flooded Grove is more than the pack. Um, Notion Thief might be more than the pack. Rugged Prairie is more than the pack. Yeah. So, I mean, we got... We got like four cards that are worth more than the actual pack was, and then we got Jace. And then I mean the foils, the foils are really nice because that's worth more than the pack. I know that for a fact. Murder might be, Relentless Rats might be, Swords of Clashes might be, and Hill Spell Bomb's like ten. Kindle, Dark Ritual, um, Metal Sentinel is at like eight or nine, I think. So I mean, all in all, and... The value from this box came from, I think, the uncommons and commons, because Simeon Spear Guides are like three, Swords of Plowshares are like two, Dark Rituals are probably one or two, um, Curse Catchers are like five, uh, Utopia Sprawls are like two or three, Invigorate's like a dollar, Lightning's like three, Letless Rats are almost two dollars a piece, I believe, um, Ash Barons are like three dollars. Brainstorm's like a dollar. I mean, so I got plenty of value in the uh, commons and uncommons in this set. That's where a lot of the value comes from, and people don't realize. Like, I got a couple packs where I got more than the pack in just the commons and uncommons. So you have to look at the big picture when you are opening a box like this. You can't just be like, the, the rares are terrible. You have to look at everything. And this puppy right here helped me a lot, and I love him for it. This box would have been probably one of the worst boxes in the history of this set if it was not for this guy right here. Anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.